What's going on guys, it's Ryan from Boats Daily here. Today I'm here with Nick from Inceto Boat Works. We're gonna be doing a full walkthrough of the 35 foot internal foil catamaran. Uh, we'll give you guys some info on it, uh, show you a lot of the nice features, beautiful boat. Um, we just did an awesome photo shoot, flew the drone, so you guys will see a lot of cool stuff throughout this video. Um, Nick, what's, where should we start? You wanna start on the back? Start right up here. So um, Nick, he's really the big, informative guy he knows a lot more about the boat so um i'll uh, get you nervous and let you take the floor for a second let's go uh starting off the bow we've got a massive drum windlass in here over 600 feet of line capacity right um anchor wherever you'd like very simplified compared to a lot of windlasses reduces all the issues that a lot of people have um, usually with a windlass uh, with it breaking and then having to manually crank it all in which is usually a bit of a pain yeah and what do we uh, what do we have here? Right here, this is just a pedestal mount, so you can drop a table or anything like that. If people want to have a table set up here and eat, uh, whatever you'd like, really, uh, it's just a universal mount. You can mount multiple things in there. You can even mount like uh, stuff for kite fishing. Drop that in there. Yeah. Run your kite rods out here off the bow little, uh, if you'd like. Launcher type of thing. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. Um, we got all the bells and whistles, JL audio. Um, I think we have. Uh, We'll show them, but beautiful Simrad electronics, yeah. right? Yeah, we'll work. Yeah. Try, we'll, maybe we'll just work our way back. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, let's show uh, the big coffin box lounger area. Yeah, we've got massive insulated coffin box right here. Opens wide open, and you've got a ton of insulated storage capacity for a ton of ice. What we've done is, for most customers, wanted to keep it split. So you'd keep one side, load both of them up with ice, you start putting fish in one. Uh, as the day goes on, rarely open the other side, just shovel some more ice in there, make sure your catch stays cold, fresh, perfect for Bahamas trips when you need to have a lot of ice, because sometimes it's not easily accessible over there. And, um, you know, lots of rod holders all around. Um, I guess you guys can put as many as the customer wants, right? Yep. Depending um, on what type of fishing you do, uh, a lot of guys don't need a ton of rod holders. Uh, if you drift, kite fish, etc., you might want a lot more. Um, you've got rod holders that line each sides of this as well. Um, I like that if you're if you're dolphin fishing or something like that. Yeah. You want to keep all your rods here so you got full walk around capacity versus if you got a million rods and all the rod holders, you're yeah. looping in and out and whatnot, which can be a pain. And that uh, looks like we got some cup holders with uh, the yeah. rod holder in it as well. Got to have the cup holders, man. Um, I see freshwater wash down, of course. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the freshwater tank where you fill up right there. Yep. That's the pump out tank on the opposite side. Pretty much everything, uh, that's all standard stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable amount of storage. Right up here, this is just normal storage. We got the cover that wraps around this entire thing. You guys have some of your camera gear. Yeah, we got all our equipment in here too, so. Each yes. side is exactly the same, they're identical. Um, also right here, these smaller receptacles, uh, we have a sunshade, carbon fiber poles that mount in here, and you got a sunshade that covers up the entire bow, which is awesome when you're hanging out at the sandbar and relaxing. The canopy uh, links onto the uh, hard top, right? Yep, right here. So, um, people have seen those before, I'm sure they yeah. didn't know about that one. Uh, I guess let's work our way back a little bit. Moving back, these uh, can be insulated fish box, uh, they can be one big connected box, totally up to you. It's customizable based on what the customer wants, really. Do we have anything in there right now? Or? Um, it's, it's pretty cleaned up. Yeah. So yeah, uh, unlike a lot of catamarans, we have a pretty decent sized space inside the console. We've got an electric flush head. We've got a little vanity set up with a sink. Um, it's usually a hit for the ladies. And right here, something we're extremely proud of. Yeah, get behind him for that one. Fully ventilated and access to all of your electronics right in here. Uh, it's temperature regulated, ventilated, so nothing I mean, overheats and shuts yeah. off when you're running it at the sandbar. Extremely uh, clean setup in there, that's for sure. Yes, sir. And we will shut that. Looks like a nice full um, glass enclosure too on the center console yeah, area. You've got a totally enclosed cockpit, so when you're sitting inside here, you're going to be like, holy smokes, it's insanely quiet. Yeah. When you're back in here, you step out here, and that's where everyone's glasses and hats fly off and all that. And um, I wanted to point out real quick, you guys are using pretty much Lumatech lights for most of the stuff? I believe so. Yeah. Got some nice Lumatech stuff, yeah. uh, high quality lighting for a high quality boat. We've got, this is all powder coated aluminum. Uh, we really wanted to minimize the amount of piping all around the boat. Keep it sleek, keep it or aerodynamic, and uh, it looks pretty slick. This T-top right here, is carbon fiber 
weighs about 100 pounds, extremely strong, extremely light, um, and it actually is lighter than all the components mounted to it, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah, um, what do we got, like a little sunroof set up? Um, these are just for ventilation. Oh, okay. Uh, like I said, when you're back here behind the, the cockpit setup, it can get a little bit hot if it's yeah. summertime, so you open those up, they're Bomar hatches. Yeah. and they'll let a little bit of ventilation in so you get some fresh air. So you get the, you don't get all the wind to your face so you can't see, but you get a little bit from up there, which is nice. Exactly. Um, we've got dual 19 inch Simrads. Uh, we've been extremely happy with, with Simrad. They, they work really well with the Mercury Marine. Uh, we've got the Mercury Vessel View right there. Boca Tech switches, JL Audio, Mercury Skyhook, uh, the whole nine yards. See the sim rods are flush mounted too, which looks amazing. So. Yeah, this is our flush mounting system where everything is completely flat. Uh, it looks super slick and has been a hit amongst most uh, customers. All right, so what's the beam on this boat? 10-8. 10 8. 10 foot eight, uh, triple adjustable. Yeah, three wide LeBrock seating. Center one's adjustable to slide in and out. Sit down totally or lean it back up and use it as a leaning post. All right, so some last things in the center console area. Up top, we have Gemlux Outriggers carbon fiber, and um, we also have a sunshade for this whole area, uh, same as the bow. You guys can see there's the little hooks right here for it to clip onto. And it'll connect to actually to the outriggers. Oh, okay. It'll yeah. connect to the outriggers. Cool. Um, nice handles. Uh, we also do have an Inceta logo at, on the top of the hardtop that we'll probably see from the drone footage that we got. Yes, sir. Um, we've also got a ton of storage all around here. Got trash cans on this side, tackle storage on the opposite side, keep everything nice and organized and off the deck. Um, something that's new on uh, this, this boat versus the last boat, and your configuration of the cockpit is totally customizable. On this boat, we have the drop down rigging station, right? So, here I'll show you guys. Pull this off. You've got dual pressurized live wells, 30 gallons a pop. And you've got this to drop down. You got your bait and rigging station, tackle up in here. So you're on your way out, rig up all your ballyhoo and everything, get it sorted, ready to rock and roll. Um, and when you're not using that, you drop this cushion back up here, footrest here in a good spot just to have a rear facing seat still so you don't lose that rear facing seat at all. Sweet. Um, I guess let's show the bilges and let me relocate this stuff real quick for let me show this back area. Two hours later. Okay, uh, coming back towards the transom. Obviously, we got dual bilges with um, the catamaran. I guess you get you get that one or whichever one. Step down on this and you lift it up easy. This side we've got our pump boxes to power our uh, live wells. Keep everything nice and pressurized. Keep that bait happy, so you're not rolling up your spot with a bunch of dead baits. Super clean, easily yeah. accessible. You get a six foot five guy in there if he needs to replace anything. And on this side, we have the Mercury electric hydraulic steering system. We've got a transducer down there. And once again, super clean, super wide open. We've also got fresh and salt water wash downs over here. We've got a quick disconnect. So instead of having a hose on the deck, uh, you hook this up, hook your hose in there, spray off the deck, put it away. Everyone always gets holes in them, whether it's a gaff, spear shafts, fish teeth, etc. Um, this particular boat, we've got rear seating instead of live wells in the corners. Um, and these are super simple. Drop right down, out of the way, so if you're fishing, not in your way at all. When you got the family, or when you're on your ride in and out, take a comfortable seat there. Removable backrest comes in and out. The last boat that uh, I was on with you had live wells in the corners, right? Correct, okay, yeah. So, so you can do a couple different configurations. You could do a normal small seat here that's just an insulated cooler. You could do the live well configuration here, dual live wells. You could also do dual live wells here, the live well in each corner, so you'd have a total of uh, four 30-gallon wells. Um, yeah, if you do a lot of live bait fishing, that might be valuable to you. Um, so that is totally up to the customer how they want to have their live well set up and basically their cockpit set up. Yeah. So um, moving into the back, we got twin Mercury uh, 300. They call these Verados, right? Yeah, these yeah. are Verados. Uh, twin Mercury 300s. Um, I guess now let's talk a little bit about the speed and efficiency and maybe tell them a little bit about uh, what the foil does. Yeah. Um, what I know, um, it's kind of like a different 
um, I guess it can be compared to a step hole, but is it like more efficient or? It's uh, unbelievably more yeah. efficient than a stepped hole. I mean, it's I know it's totally different. Like you yeah. guys basically have little wings uh, in between the tunnel, right? Correct, correct. There's a main foil that sits uh, around the center of gravity up by where the console is. Um, and then there's two rear finlets that are two smaller foils. The rear finlets provide lift at lower speeds in the back. Um, and the main foil provides additional lift once you get on plane. Um, so once you're coming up uh, mid 30s, low 40s, you start to feel that boat really lift up and stand on top of that foil. Um, and that's where the magic happens because an unbelievable amount of the boat is lifted up and out of the water, reducing as much drag as possible, um, which increases the efficiency, uh, can be 20 to 40% um depending on uh sea conditions so it's it's uh efficiency numbers that no one else can really achieve uh right now you mentioned steps uh joel what what does the step typically provide efficiency wise max 10% yeah gain yeah a max uh, efficiency gain of 10 percent. we're looking at 20 to 40 percent increase in uh fuel efficiency you got a b on your hat <laughs> yeah i got a b on my head <laughs> Just okay. leave them. There's not that many more of them we're out almost, there. We're almost done. So, um, I mean, the foils, totally a game changer within the center console. Absolutely. Um, and also uh, a side benefit of the foil as well is it improves the ride quality. Uh, operates almost like a suspension, right? So the foil is always trying to provide lift. So what that means is when the boat's coming up out of the water, when you're in rougher seas and it wants to come down, that foil always wants to provide lift. So what it does is creates almost a dampening effect, right? It cushions and softens your landings. So it's almost like a suspension system cool. on a car. Uh, makes the ride quality unbelievable. Um, it absolutely eats up a Gulf Chop. And uh, we're, we're super, super pleased with performance and efficiency. It's, it's an incredible boat. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I know last time I was with you, we ran a little bit offshore and it was choppy and um, it was yeah. nice. You guys were telling me, what's like the numbers, like uh, cruise, did you say that or? Uh, no, we didn't, even, we didn't even talk about cruise speed. What's like um, cruise uh, fuel burn average, something? It, it really, a lot of it depends on uh, ocean conditions, yeah. right? Uh, anyone that says you're gonna be getting, you know, two miles per gallon in a four foot chop, that's, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Um, real world conditions, we've run from Fort Lauderdale up to Fort Pierce and seen numbers 1.6 to 1.8. Um, there's not another 35 foot boat on the market that can run numbers like that. Um, and yeah, so like I said, it, 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 some of it does depend on sea state. If we're in a totally flat, calm conditions, we've seen numbers two miles per gallon, yeah. uh, which, is, which is unbelievable. Another thing is uh, a, lot of, a lot of manufacturers trim as much weight so they can make sure that their boat is extremely efficient. Um, we don't sacrifice weight um, to create that efficiency. Um, our foil makes up for that. So we actually have quite a heavy boat. We weigh in at around 11,000 pounds and we can load this boat down full live wells, full gear, full fuel, full coffin box full of ice. Um, and we'll still be seeing same uh, efficiency numbers uh, with a, a marginal difference. Uh, we're not as affected by loads uh, when it comes to our efficiency, which is super impressive when you consider uh, loading down the boat to go do a Bahamas trip uh, or, or any long range trip that you've got a ton of weight in the boat. So you save weight places you can, like the carbon fiber hard top, but... Um, yeah, yeah, we, we, we do save some yeah. weight where we can, but mainly the foil is just able to carry so much weight. Regardless of how much weight's in the boat, it's consistently providing lift. Yeah, transom area is pretty much yeah. uh, the last er, uh, last thing we got um, open in the center. Yeah, um, this is, oh, there's, there's your mic. There's my mic. Is this yeah, this is, yeah, this is my favorite part of the boat, um, because if you're a diver, spear fisherman, whatnot, even if you fish, uh, you have a ton of space in between these motors, um, whether you're free diving, whether you're scuba diving. Um, we've got removable handrails right here. Um, I have personally dove and speared out of this boat and it's so easy just to hop right in the boat. Um, you're a big sword fisherman catching tuna, whatever. You can drag them up right through this walk through transom. Super nice. We've got more uh, rod holders back here, these rocket launcher setups. Everything inspired by the foil kind of style of things. Um, and obviously the twin Mercury 300 Verados, which are an incredible powerhouse for this vessel. And the, we got to talk about one last thing, uh, the tilt on the motors. Uh, yeah, everyone asks why are the, why are the engines canted? Um, basically it allows the boat to lean inward in a turn, right? This boat behaves uh, a lot different from a lot of symmetrical catamarans. Uh, symmetrical catamarans will turn flat whereas asymmetrical hulls uh, will lean into their turns, feel a lot more comfortable, almost like a hybrid between a cat and a mono hull. Yeah. Um, the angle on the outboards allows us uh, to do that without cavitation, um, which allows us to lean into the turns more efficiently and effectively. 
um, and just provides, once again, a, a just improved performance on the water. All right, so Nick, I assume that wasn't your first time doing that because you had your facts down pretty good. We, uh, we'll make a few <laughs> cuts in the video, but good job. No. Um, yeah, it's fun. Usually I'm in the hot seat, so you took it from me there. Appreciate it. Oh, I didn't realize I stole the glory. <laughs> it's all good, man. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys taking us out with you, um, experiencing the ride and doing this cool photo shoot. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to doing more. Absolutely, that was fun. I can't wait to see some of these shots turn out. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.